in recent years, you know, we have seen the rise of terrorism. You know, many youngsters they are taking arms, fighting with each other. You know, we have seen you know many uh, many groups like ISIS, Al Qaeda is there. So, how do you uh, see the 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 people taking up arms? You know, and uh, threatening the humanity. Uh, of course, these uh, terrorist uh, organizations that you have uh, mentioned, these terrorist organizations don't represent except themselves. They have no religion or no nation or country. Uh, of course, we completely confront and combat these ideas and pre present their truth to the world. Uh, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia has one of the strongest platforms to combat such ideas and being very successful in uh, overcoming them and hitting their ideologies and their deviated ideas uh, in the right manner. We at the Muslim World League are working on uprooting these ideas from existence. Of course, the face-off or confrontation of these ideas uh, is not uh, um, based on uh, uh, army might or history. These ideas, these movements, uh, their characteristics, they don't, they don't have these elements. They are ideological idea, uh, uh, ideas. So that's why we have to face them off in the ideological field and uproot these ideas. We have seen you know, uh, the growing conflicts and the wars uh, uh, across the world. You know, many countries, you know, uh, they, they have been destroyed uh, through these wars and conflicts. So, what reason do you find you know, behind these conflicts and what is the solution that you see? Of course, there could be uh, many reasons for uh, these wars, but we are against all wars, whatever, whatever the reasons or pretext for these uh, wars may be. And we always call for peace and love among all. Of course, these uh, pretexts, whatever may they be for the war, there should be uh, dialogue for them so that they can be resolved. So we always support understanding and uh, dialogue among them. And along with dialogue, uh, dialogue if there is uh, wisdom present, then we no doubt this dialogue will lead to peace. So we always call for this peace to be realized. Uh, these work sometimes could happen because of misunderstanding, sometimes for being apart from each other, sometimes because of fears that may be, uh, the, uh, that might be there. They, these uh, fears might, sometimes could be true fears, but there should be dialogue to bridge that gap between these differences. Of course, with understanding, we can overcome them and have a true um, peace. Of course, mis uh, we have seen in, uh, in history that sometimes these misunderstandings uh, ended up being into uh, becoming a reason for love. These conflicts, they existed among some countries, but over time, when there was logic applied and the principle of peace were applied, these conflicts become into love and into alliances between these countries. So these are very successful examples. What role uh, do you believe the religious scholars should have, you know, uh, to, to, to criticize uh, these extremists or the people who have taken arms? Uh, no doubt, the role of the religious leaders in this regard is very important in raising awareness on uh, uh, combating these ideas. Uh, of course, these ideas that are, these uh, mo uh, movements that take up arms, these uh, uh, based on uh, distorting the image of uh, these religions. And that's why religious leaders must take up their role to confront them. The first line of defense in this regard are the religious leaders to combat such ideas. Any uh, leniency shown by religious leaders in this regard will end up in the uh, expansion of these ideas. So thus, thus, the religious leaders have a very important role in this regard. We, in partnership with the, our partners around the world, are facing off and confronting these ideas. Of course, um, uh, terrorism, which is uh, falsely claimed to be an uh, issue related to Islam, uh, the religious le Muslim religious leaders are playing a big role in uh, um, uh, making this, this disassociation that Islam and uh, terrorism has nothing to do with each other. And the Muslim World League is the biggest umbrella for Muslim uh, religious leaders around the world. And through the Muslim World League, we are taking up this issue and combating terrorism. Uh, one of the uh, tools and ways through which we have achieved this is the Charter of Mecca. It is the most important uh, um, document in Islamic history, the modern, the contemporary Islamic history. In this Charter of Mecca, more than 1,200 mufti and senior scholars from Islamic world, all anyone with the designation of muf mufti, is part of this uh, charter and has backed the articles of this charter, along with more than 4,500 Islamic thinker have signed uh, this charter. And this charter confronts these ideas of extremism and terrorism 
and, uh, and it is a consensus, the first achieved for the first time in combating in very pressing issues in the, in the world. And uh, they are coming together through this voice in com uh, combating such ideas and other more pressing ideas.